D -d -d double double G G G double day. All right, what am I doing here this morning? Hello, good morning. It's eight twenty-one in the morning on a beautiful Tuesday, I believe, or is it Wednesday? Let's look. It is Tuesday, April second. All right, we get ready to go to the exciting office. Not. What do we get going on today? Let's check my cushion that I have coming. It's another double day. It's a Tuesday. Bum, ba, dee, da, bum. Hunter's Damons. What's up? Let's track a package. I'm waiting on another cushion for my home seat for my... It is not shipped yet. You're not doing much? Man, I am just getting up, hanging out, thinking about work. Tracking a couple of Amazon packages, and I have two packages not leaving until tomorrow. You know, Amazon is some sneaky bastards. Bulldog Mom, hello. Amazon is some sneaky bastards. You know, I get little things from Amazon all the time that I need or I use, and they always deliver next day. Now they're trying to get you to pay five dollars to get it next day. I said, no, I'll wait two days. They sneak up on you with this nonsense. No problem, I'll wait. <laughs> I don't need to be in a hurry, I'll wait. Just little things. Good morning, Mr. Billway. It is another day. Oh, I'm not excited about my day. Uh, we're ready to face the nation. Okay, what am I doing here this morning? Oh, yeah. Johnny Rockberry. What up? We're hanging tough in the kingdom on a Tuesday morning at around 8.30. Any news about the vacation? I have no updates and I have not made a plan. No. No news as of yet. I could make some, but I haven't made it yet. It's a double, double D. <laughs> I do have some news. My ergonomic mouse, I think... Something is making my wrist hurt. <laughs> I have a new pain. I don't know what it's from. I tell you what, getting old sucks. I got pain all the time in new places. And I have to figure out how to solve it all the time. What's causing this pain? What's causing that pain? Hell, every time I turn around, I got something to solve. Uh, it's a pain in the double D. <laughs> Damn no pain coming upon me all the time. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> Every time I turn around, I got some nonsense I got to deal with. <sighs> I have not figured out. Fredo Frog, hello. Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to get into today. I'm just going to go to work in the usual way. Oh, man, I better take my morning meds. I done forgot about that. We're going to get into the morning meds before I forget. Let me turn off this stuff. If you come to my auto repair shop and train as a mechanic, first up BMW and Audis. Whoop, whoop. You know what? It'd be nice. It's just another double D. Oh. Get in here and roll. Yes, good morning. 
It's another double D. If you were in car sales, if I was, you know what? I actually, me and a couple of guys started buy here, pay here throughout Houston, specializing in trucks. We may have found a niche market in Houston and made money. And of course, growing up, we everybody fixed and rebuilt our own cars. That's what we did. We'd strip them down, rebuild them, soup them up. That was normal. But it is what it is. It's another double D. I'll never forget the hardest car I ever worked on. I bought myself an Alfa Romeo. I damn near tore the damn rear axle out of that son of a bitch trying to figure out how to remove the brake pad. It was a nightmare. Thanks for the sub. Ryan. I had bought an Alfa Romeo GTV6 and I wanted to change the brake pads. It had a single disc brake in the rear axle, but I could not figure out how to release that. Man, it was like in the middle of the car, some special thing. That it, that outfit was crazy. I almost tore my car to pieces trying to fix that. Man, it was it was so hard. Nothing makes sense on Alfa Romeo. That car was a nightmare. Move it. Yeah, I, I, when the Alfa Romeo ran good, it was great. But when there was a problem, it took a scientist to figure out the solution to replace things. They did everything unconventional. Nothing was done properly, or nothing was standard. It was all some odd thing. You know, nowadays you don't see people doing that. When we were young, we did everything on our car. You'd never take your car to the shop. Hell, we did everything. From head gas, you name it. We always fixed our own vehicles. We never paid somebody else to fix our cars when we were kids. We were young guys, we fixed everything. Old British sports cars are gay, running, but repairs are terrible. Man, I had a Jaguar Vanden Plaus. That son of a bitch was a permanent transmission leak. No matter what you did, that son of a bitch would leak fluid. No matter how you put it, changed everything, it was just a bad car. It was a never-ending problem. They make cars too complicated now. Well, they just have a brain in them now. Before, they didn't have a brain. They're not that complicated. There's just a lot of shit in the way. There's just a lot of stuff in the way to get to the car to work on. Too much nonsense. That beautification plastic, when you open the hood and that's all you see, 45 million snap-on things to keep, little snaps to keep the pretty plastic there, trying to cover up their engine. The most expensive repair I ever did, I had to have, I had a Porsche 944 turbo and I had to change the radiator out. Jeez Louise. That took forever and a day. Yeah, Ford did change Jaguar, made them a little better, and then they sold Jaguar to that dude in India, Tata Motors or whatever. But Jaguar was just most of the British European cars, they're a four year car. They were made to buy new and then get rid of because the repairs is somebody else's problem. You don't want an old... People that buy old Beamers and old Mercedes are just asking for trouble. Really. They're asking for nonsense. If you can't afford one new, you surely can't afford one used. 
People don't understand that. Buying a used German car, you're just shooting yourself in the balls. <laughs> you can't afford a new one. You don't want to use one. You'll be living down at the used parts yard if you can find them. I used to have a guy that had German car parts. The only guy that would give you a decent deal, and he wasn't that good. He was in San Jose, California. He was the only dude that had parts that you could get reasonably. Oh. The easiest motor and the best motor ever invented is just a straight six. That son of a bitch is the gray. More, more Porsche 928 are great. The 928, the 944 was great. I put a million miles almost on that car. I went everywhere. I worked out of that car for years. It was such a good car. The worst of the worst car I ever owned in my life was a Saab. The Saab had a... I had a Saab 900 and had an aluminum block. I tried to go from Tennessee to California, and once I hit New Mexico, I had to roll through New Mexico and Arizona with the air conditioner off so the motor wouldn't overheat. That aluminum block would overheat so quickly, it was definitely only made for Scandinavia. I think that's why Saab went out of business in America. They didn't adapt their cars for North America. Their cars were made for the Alps. Did you have that car? Boy, that car was terrible. I hated that car. Some bitch was such a pain in the butt. God, it was terrible. You had to be careful because of the aluminum block. If you let it overheat, it would warp. It was very, you had to be real careful. In high school, I ran like two times. <laughs> it ran two times. Then broke. Hell, they never run. Saab sold to Chinese crew. Well, hopefully they can improve it. Saab is terrible. All right, excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom, then we will continue. Give me. Uh. get ourselves casually to work. temperature out here today. Oh. I have to put my 
my uh, phone down here near the air conditioner this morning. It's too hot. It's already 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, summer has come upon us like a thief in the night. I knew last week was the last week of good weather. It's over. Summer is here. We no longer have our winter weather. I don't like that cleaning dude hanging out in my front door when I get up. I need to talk to him. I want to come and go from my car without being harassed. <laughs> I don't like somebody standing there looking at me. Hosm, good morning. I don't need a cleaning dude hanging out at my door. I need to tell him, don't come around there in the morning. doesn't want to miss your free shoes. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like that shit. Yeah, I don't like getting a good morning prints. I don't like getting up in the morning and having to deal with somebody. I don't know if it's really I don't want to deal with it. As soon as the car gets cool, we can move the phone to a better location. It'll be a little bit. Yeah, the car is warm. Damn, that was quick. Ah, uh, he's looking for another wallet. Probably. That old boy thinking about it anyway. It's a double, double D. something from home to work. I didn't do it today. The cleaning guy that watches Earl, yeah, so I gotta be nice to him. He, I can't, I don't want to be anything weird to him. I wanted to bring my little gaming thing today, but I didn't bring it. That way I can do some heavy downloads when I'm at work instead of at home. Worry about it later. All right, let's see if we can put this up here. Yo, Mo, good morning. It's another day in the kingdom. Woohoo! We're in the last week of Ramadan. Then things will be back to normal before you know it. And summer is arriving at the same time. <laughs> oh boy. Everything is coming upon us. I haven't slept yet. Need to fix my sleep. Yeah, it'll take a while. After Ramadan's done, you'll be back to normal. Everybody has a problem adjusting. Even me. I have to go out to dinner late at night. I don't like to go nowhere. It's really hard to adjust. And when I want to do my normal shopping, I have to figure out when the places are open, and you know, I don't really like all that. I'll be glad, glad to get back to normal hours. That's the biggest deal, just the normal timing of everything. They've never made a standard, you know? Every shop has its own timing when it comes time to Ramadan. They mix it up and everybody's different. 
another for a beautiful day. God bless. It is the town. I tell the town. You know, I'm having some weird thumb pain today. It doesn't make sense. This to here, I used to only get a little pain here when I played the game. I didn't play that game using using the online game. I wonder what I done. I can't think what I've done. I have a soreness here for no reason. It doesn't make sense. I have to think about what repetitive thing I have done and I need to cease and desist. <laughs> I've done something repetitive. Made my thumb hurt. Not bad, just nagging. Another double D. I was trying to watch this morning when I woke up. Just a little bit of YouTube, what's going on and stuff. The, every YouTube thing is full. Could be from the iPad. But I haven't really used the iPad lately. That's kind of weird. Anyway, the news is not on YouTube. All the videos are all about P diddly 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 do. Does it really anybody care about that dude? Why is that so important? Who cares? Everywhere you look, that old P. Diddley's on there. Relax and enjoy. What's up? Just another double D. Labor report. Man, there was a few people out there yesterday. That was kind of weird. I don't know what they're doing out there. There was maybe a dozen or two people out there yesterday. I'm really confused. There's nothing for them to do. Like somebody said, I think it's just the noobs. <laughs> they arrived, and now they're figuring out it. <laughs> it was kind of a scam. This dude here got a whole truck of watermelons. Check it out. Let's see his watermelons. I think he's going to burn more gas than the value of them watermelons. <laughs> he's driving that truck, burning the hell out of them fuel. That fuel is going to cost more than the value of the watermelons. I wonder where the hell he got all them watermelons from. Huh. back there was red and green. That's a new deal. When's the next overseas trip? I don't know. I may go somewhere next week or this weekend. I'm thinking about it. I gotta call somebody today. I need to head out. I may 
can't go to the Philippines. Heck, I don't know. I'd love to go, and I'd love to take time off. I just hate the damn flights. You know what I mean? I just really don't like the 10-hour flights. It's not a big deal. I don't know why it bothers me so much. I used to hate it when I lived in L.A., and I'd go to the Philippines, and be a 14-hour flight, five-hour layover in Manila, or 10-hour, oh, it was so just terrible. I've been on a lot of world flights, 14 to 16-hour flights, they are terrible. There's nothing nice about a 16-hour flight. I don't care where you're sitting in the plane. It still sucks. I don't like it. That flight I went to Bali was 16 hours. That was so bad. We were in the best. You don't sleep. Man, I really can't sleep on it. Sometimes I get a little sleep, but it's hard to sleep on the plane. Turbulence will wake you up every time. And when you're flying around, halfway around the planet, you guaranteed you're going to get some turbulence. It's not like the flight's not, it's not going to be smooth always. Never. I've been in some bad, and throughout Asia Pacific, turbulence is very, very bad. They have what's called clear air turbulence, which is cats. And there's no air in the sky, and the plane falls. It's very weird can't sleep on planes at all. It's real hard. And you know, the stingy ass airlines, no matter where you sit, they've ruined everything. I forget what I was on the other day. I couldn't believe it was business class. I bitched and moaned, told them I want my money back. Their business class was terrible. It wouldn't it was a waste. It was the worst business class. I can't remember what airline that was. It was bad. It was a joke. Let's see if we have any labor dudes to uh, entertain us with their waiting. Whoops. There's a few guys out here, but not too many. Really, the big crowd of labor guys have just been gone the whole month. Was it a Walmart airline? No, it was some major carrier. I can't remember which one. It may have been Philippine Airlines business. It was so small. Planes are kind of like you're just on them counting down the hours until arrival. That's true. Yeah, the airlines have really went downhill all the way. <laughs> the worst airline in the world, which is funny. Oh, British Airways. <laughs> they have MILF old fat ladies as the stewardess. Well, the most pleasant thing about an airline is the nice, friendly stewardess. And you get on British Airways, and that lady's 60 years old. <laughs> She's like an old retired lady. She's really big ladies and it's kind of funny that cracked me up British Airways got all their flight attendants from the damn retirement center <laughs> and they lack friendliness <laughs> I was shocked oh British Airways Ain't nobody pretty on that flight. Them old ladies that they let work on there, I was shocked. 
looked like a damn retirement center. I'm like, what the hell is this? I thought there was like a size thing to be a stewardess. These big old growls going down there hitting your shoulder with their big old butts. Hey, I don't know. A little large. It's just a double, double D. They, I used to take British Airways all the time from here to go to Tampa. And that was a terrible flight. Going from here to Gatwick, then getting on a bus to go to Heathrow. It used to take me days to get home. God, it would suck so bad. have to hire everyone or they'll be sued. Well, I just don't know, you know. There's certain jobs where size matters, you know. What's funny is they tell these companies that you have to hire everyone. Heathrow is not the nightmare. The nightmare is landing in Gatwick and having a connection five hours later at Heathrow in the morning during rush hour, sitting on the freeway during traffic trying to get to the next airport. That transfer is terrible. I missed my flight one time. I couldn't make it, too much traffic. I had booked a room at the Heathrow Hilton. That room was 10 square feet for $400. You had to do a side shuffle to get out of bed to get to the bathroom. It was a, the, the Heathrow Hilton is a joke. The room wasn't no more than 10, 15 square feet. It was hilarious. We were cracking up. I'd never been in a room that small before. It was so tiny. I'd never seen a Hilton with a room that tiny. It wasn't no bigger than a walk-in closet. Don't want a hippo running through the center aisle. <laughs> That's what they had. It's a double, double D. All right, we're here at the office almost. Is there any parking out front? No, nope. I gotta head back in the back. Oh man, it's first today. Nature Gary, good morning, sir. Oh, yeah, cool. Let's do it. First to come, last to leave. No, I'm first to leave. But I am first to arrive. That's why I leave first. Uh, I like to come earlier and leave earlier.
During Ramadan, I only work from 9 to 3. I usually go 9 to 2. Work around 5 hours. Drive a school bus on my free time. I hate kids. I, if I drive a school bus, I'll end up in prison. Little bastard mouth off to me, I'll be knocking his jaw off his face. I can't handle that. <laughs> I can't do that. You get on, I get on a bus and a bunch of kids acting a fool, ain't gonna be happening. I don't have the patience for little fuckers. Unruly children is something I can't handle. There's my sciatic nerve seat. I ordered a bigger one for the house. I'm seeing if that's going to help my nerve. Oh, I'm not convinced with it yet. Where's the coffee? There's no coffee during Ramadan. Unless you want to go in a closet and drink it. Oh, you can, but you just could. We try to respect everybody by not doing things. Damn air conditioner. The problem, I need the air on now. Yeah, there's no eating and drinking at your offices during Ramadan. Makes for an exciting day. You can, but it's best just to stick with everything normal. Why he has to turn up the damn air conditioning on Hala? Why you got that seat cushion? For sciatic nerve. You have a nerve that's in your butt, cheek, and hip. If you sit too long, you know how you feel like your butt has a somebody punched it? So this seat cushion is to get rid of that nerve pain from setting too much. You sit at work, you sit at home. And this is supposed to relieve the stress from your sciatic nerve. That's what it's for. It's like it runs through your hip. I don't know if it works or not. We're gonna see. We'll try it a week, see if I have any improvement. Tomorrow I have one coming for my home seat. I, you can't walk when you have a sciatic nerve problem. It hurts your hip, that's the problem. You're, you gotta catch 22. If you walk around, it hurts even more. I thought I was going to pass out in Hong Kong after a week of walking. My hip and my sciatic nerve thing hurt so bad, it was terrible. So this is my, hopefully, I can fix it. I don't know. I miss the Indian breakfast, too. I miss everything. Yeah, I'm missing my whole life. <laughs> Because it's a double, double D. Uh, I missed, I, oh, I read that twice, sorry. Uh, turmeric tea will relieve it works. That's what I've heard. I need to try that. I've heard a couple of people say some turmeric stuff will help relieve it. I hope so. Yeah, I hope it can do something. It's a pain in your butt cheek to your hip. It's the weirdest pain. It's like someone kicked you in the cheek with a hammer. It's the weird pain. It affects you when you... Uh, 
sometimes when you walk or it's just weird ever thought about repelling down from the ceiling tile like Tom Cruise <laughs> looks like it doesn't it oh that reminds me I need to get the dude in here to unplug some lights we got too many lights in here it's just too much I need to fix this over right here Air conditioner is noisy. They just. This is not a comfortable office. It's fucking annoying. I'm getting annoyed by everything these days. I gotta be careful. Everything's pissing me off. That means about time for a holiday. <laughs> when everything's making you mad, you may wanna relax. Everything's pissing me off these days. Just get tired of it, you know? <laughs> tired of everything, damn it. I don't need this many lights. It's freaking ridiculous. It's too much. I just don't need this much light. It's way too much. I wonder which one we should take out. Maybe the one directly above? I need to think about this. One of these needs to be removed. I just can't, I don't know which one. Take the bright one out. They're all bright. There's, look at them, there's one, three of them in here. Three damn bright lights. I don't know which one needs to go out, but something does, it's just too much. Too much lights in here. Need to remove two. Two lights need to be taken out. We're gonna see if we can't get that done today. They need to remove two lights. I don't know, it's just too much, man. Fuck, it's totally annoying me right now. I'm really pissed. It's, I'm just suffering from it. I wish I had a ladder, I'd do it myself. I wish I had a ladder, I'd just do it myself. We're gonna put a ticket in. We're gonna get this taken care of. All right, what are we doing today? I don't know, let's look at my work email and see if I have anything exciting this morning. We have. Randy getting grumpy with no coffee. Yeah, I am. I'm just not comfortable. Gremlins, bright. There's too much light in it. Can I reach that? No, I can't reach that. Ramadan, less light, coffee and some paper thin eggs. It'd be nice. Sudan man, you're here very early. Are you sick? Why are you here? You're sick? You're here very early. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good. I ain't seen you here this early. <laughs> Good morning. It's a beautiful day. I know everybody's motivated and happy. It's the first hour of work. You ought to be feeling great. How are you guys? Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. Everybody get all excited. What do you think, Marcelino? You feel good? Woohoo! Get down to it. <laughs> yeah, buddy, everybody get all excited. 
Morning, sirs. Good morning, sirs. Good morning. How are you gentlemen today? Hey, double, double D. Short time. What are you doing? You doing good? Very, very good. Very, very good. Good morning. Everybody's feeling good. Bomba dee da bomb. Double double D. <laughs> what do they do? One partner is logistics. One people is a maintenance. One people is a project. There's AutoCAD, engineering, designer. To be honest, 50% of the people are not needed. You can take one good guy and replace three to four people. Easily. It's just unnecessary fat ass weight in the company. My only I'm a business development. I bring in money every year, a certain few millions, and that's my job. My job is measured by the amount of income generated for the company. Mine's easy to measure. But you can't measure their work because they don't eh. It's not my job. If I was the boss, I'd let everybody go today. Today, we go through and fire 50, maybe 60% of the people today. I'd let them go. Jim and I, Scott, hello. We don't need them. I start letting them go, boom, booyah. AI will replace them all? I doubt it. I don't think that's going to happen. It won't happen. Because we do projects in the field in oil and gas in an intrinsically safe environment. Ain't no AI going inside of a plant to do anything. We have people that go out to projects every day. So that's definitely not going to happen. It will not happen. It's just a double, double D. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get into today. They go, boys get paid like they were in the USA. No, man. They're just, they, they, if you pay them, you're overpaying them. I wish AI would take my job. I'm ready. Ferris C., what's up? Hello and good morning to you. What did I owe eight nine from Amazon? Let me show you what I've ordered. Let me show you. Amazon, Amazon. My orders that I'm waiting on. All right. Here's what I'm waiting on from Amazon. Until tomorrow. I ordered another seat cushion for my sciatic nerve. This one's for home. And then I ordered a brace for my sciatic nerve. And then I ordered just this little camera thing that clips it on and holds it to my tripod. Cheap things. So I'm waiting on my new seat cushion for home and my hip holder. To, it's a sciatic pain relief thing, sciatic nerve. Keeps the butt cheek in place, I guess. That's what it's for. I'll try that and see if it works. I did exercising last night that you're supposed to do for the sciatic nerve. I'm trying to get it solved. Apparently, you can solve it. Now I'm having a problem now. I'm thinking, I'm having a little pain here. I don't have a wrist pain, but this hair is a little sore. I wonder if this ergonomic mouse is causing me wrist 
it causes me pain right here. I don't know. I need to go to the store, actually. You know what? Or Sue Danny, I'm going to send him to the store. Let's try another mouse today. It's a double double D. Too much wacky. I'm a, I, I just, it's, I, I wish it was a problem. It's an unidentifiable problem. I need to visit a physician. This is true, I do. <laughs> Think the way you play the game hurts your risk with that mouse. It may. I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm going to buy a regular big ass gaming mouse, just a plug in cheap one, to see if that helps. Yeah, I, my helmet man is, I'm a right lefty, not a right. Who beats their meat with their right hand? Beat your meat on the toilet seat all the do da day. He beat that meat on the toilet seat all the do da day. Whoop whoop. It's a double double D. All right, what am I doing today? I know what. I need to send a guy. What time does Jareer open today? Let's see, it's nine in the morning. I'd probably be better off taking one from Amazon and getting it delivered by tomorrow. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, AI, America is leading country in over-embracing technology. Other countries have different values. Uh, for $9.99, I can sell you an organic oil. I don't believe in that nonsense. Yeah, I don't believe You still have both your handheld gaming. I, I gave one to Cole, and I have one at home. I sent one to Cole in the Philippines. So Cole has one, and I have one. But I don't think he embraces it that well. He don't give a shit about it. All right, what are we going to do here? We're going to try something here. I can't buy a mouse online. I need to see how big it is. Go down to the employee employment area, hire someone to game for you, and just watch them. No way. I would never do that. That would suck. Imagine how bad that would suck. That would suck so bad. <laughs> that would just be the worst. Uh, your wrist would thank you. No, I'll figure it out. You got to keep moving. If you don't move it, you lose it. Teach Earl to take over your wrist gets sore. <laughs> but it says it's got 11 programmable buttons. I don't need 11 buttons. Oh, hell, yeah, that's too much. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. My hand will adapt. I'm sitting there looking at the mouse online. I don't know what I want. I'll just, my hand will adjust with time. You need 69 buttons. You don't need a freaking buttons all over your mouse. It's stupid. I never use that kind of stuff. I have a couple of macros that I use, but it's just to run fast and other. I don't really need that. I program one button 
when I'm playing for my thumb, I click it down and it lets my character run instead of hitting the keypad. That's why I use the macro key. I got one program for running. But to click on it's not proper. Does your company have a petty cash you someone order up some vapes? <laughs> I don't know. I think every department may have petty cash. I don't pay it no mind. I don't know what they do. Yeah, I have no mind of what they're into. Can somebody say, does Jareer open at 10 o'clock today? You got a G502? Let's check it out. G502. Oh, I have that mouse. I have that in the Philippines. I have every gaming stuff. I don't really need that. I've had that. Randy, you will, you will be attending the Song Rung in Thailand. I don't know what I'm doing. I wouldn't mind being in Thailand, but I ain't going. Come on, damn it. I want to look up this Logitech. Don't they have a bigger mouse? Logitech. I don't see anything here online. They have a new model called the Logitech G502X Plus Lightspeed. Did you see that one? There's a new one. Is that a new one or an old one? The G502X. I can't believe they have all these fancy, the Kingston Profit Ergo, best mouse ever. Yeah, I have the HP one that's similar to that. It is a good mouse. I have to agree, it is good. Let's see, what is this mouse here? They're showing some mouse. I need to get just a black mouse. I don't want no RGB bullshit. Best mouse is no mouse. It's a double, double G. I know some people that used to use their pad. I can't play like that. Well, but that mouse you don't, the cat will. <laughs> Check out the glorious Model D. Glorious. G L O R I. Glorious what model? Model D. M O D L D. That looks like a pretty good mouse. Not a bad price. Glorious. That's what you're using? Oh, it's nothing but RBG. I, this glorious don't look bad. Here's what he's talking about. Most of Ohio is a moderate risk for severe storms and tornadoes, really. Here we go. This is the mouse. That's not a bad price. The wired glorious D. Model D. That's not a bad price. $148, $35.
That's not bad at all. Glorious. Oh, glorious. How does it plug in? I don't need RBG, though. I don't care about all the stupid lights. Glorious. Cook a glorious. Does it come in black? Is it uh, glorious? <laughs> Damn, it's double priced. <laughs> sometimes, Jarir, you're a little bit crazy. You know, Jarir, sometimes with their double pricing stuff, really pisses you off. Oh, Jareer will pull a little... Uh, so you got to be watching Jareer. They're sneaky on some of their crap. Oh, Jareer will double the price on you. You got to be careful. You got to watch. You know, Jareer will get you. <laughs> Jareer ready to whack you. They don't do price match. I wish they did. It'd be a miracle. You got to be careful on that. Same mouse here is $120 more. Over here, That's it's on sale supposedly. Why? Oh, glorious. Everything's cool, but the color white. I'm not really into white. Ah, what the hell, let's take one. We'll give it a try. When am I gonna get it? How am I gonna get it? Where's the pricing? How do I get it? I don't see the shipping date. Wait a minute now. What's the shipping date before I pay you? Get it by free delivery. Fastest delivery is Thursday. Okay, I want it Thursday. How do I get it? Let me try something else. I don't understand this. Where's the damn uh, delivery time? See, I, I want next day delivery. They can kiss my ass. You don't give me next day delivery. I don't get next day delivery. I ain't going to buy it. Sorry. No next day delivery. Kiss my ass. I don't care if it's a better deal or not. I want my stuff delivered. Why are so many holes? Well... What I have experienced when gaming, your hand does get a little sticky, or what do you call it, clammy, and I would think all those holes would let you bleed. That was on Amazon. That would let the air breathe under your hand, in my opinion. Haven't you noticed when you hold a mouse a long time, it gets a little clammy? So I would think that would benefit that. I don't know, that's just my thought. Double, double, D. Go to check out. It should give you. Yeah, but it, it did not give me shipping options. Wants me to give my credit card, but doesn't want me to give me shipping options first. Uh, Jeff Bezos, you can suck my big toe when it comes to this nonsense. I want to know when I'm going to get it before I give you money. I don't want to give you money in advance. I want to know when I will get this item. I don't agree with their program. 
Really, I don't like that crap. You should tell me when I can get it. Oh, Bezos nonsense trying to cheat people. It wants me to approve my payment method before it approves my shipping method. Bezos a con artist. Yeah, he is. Amazon went downhill since January. Yeah, they have. Shipping change and everything, Mr. Algamdi. You used to be able to get next day delivery. Now everything's two, three days away and you can't even know when the shipping date is. Something's happened at Amazon here. And it's not righteous. It's damn annoying. They began to make much more time to deliver shipments. Yes, they have. I don't understand. They they increased Bezos is a supporter of woke and other groups. Uh, their shipping is now bullshit. I will buy less from them. I will not buy from them anymore because of this problem. That's just the way it's gonna be. They need your money really bad. They don't care though, they're gonna deliver. See, what you don't understand, it's bullshit. You have Prime, I would never pay Prime. Can you imagine Prime? Can you imagine Prime? I'm gonna pay you to have the privilege to buy from you. <laughs> if you had Prime, I got some shit I want to say. Call me up. Anybody who has Prime, let me know. I'd really love to. Uh, I, I've got more shit I want to sell you. <laughs> Prime. Imagine paying for the privilege to shop at your store. Kiss my ass. <laughs> I never understood that. I'm going to give you money so I can buy from you. Suck my big toe, freaking morons. I can't believe people fall for that shit. Oh, if you have Prime, I'm a subscriber Prime. They still delay the shipments. Rug boat, man. Freaking Prime. I had Prime when it was 10 bucks a month, and now it's 15 a month. I ain't doing no Prime. I don't want no part of no Prime. All right, I ordered that mouse because it was on sale. I got that mouse for one hundred for thirty dollars. I just now ordered it. It'll be here Thursday. There you go. It said at thirty five dollars. I got the glorious sale. I just got it. There it is. There's my order. It'll be here on uh, Thursday. I got it. I bought one. Good price. Can't beat that. Yeah. $30. So I got one coming. 30 bucks. Hallelujah. It's a double, double D. That's it for me. I'm done now. Amazon bakes shipping costs into the price. I don't care about that. What I do care about is wanting me to put in my information before I check out. I don't like that. Let me know what it'll be in the shipping date, then I'll decide if I want to pay or not. 
I don't like being pre-charged. I'm not really into that. Anyway, I think that'll be a good buy. A lot of fake sales on Amazon. Uh, I've never had any problem with that. Yeah, I've always done well. Amazon's been good to me. I really enjoy Amazon. But you're right, Mr. Gombe. Since January, they changed their shipping. I used... It tells the price history going back years, so you get a real deal. Really. All right, we'll see how you... Who recommended the Glorious D? I went by your recommendation, and I found that on sale for $35. So thank you. That's a good deal. That's like a $100 mouse. On sale, 35 or 8% off at Amazon. So I'm happy with that. Thank you for that recommendation. Double, double, D. I'm really happy about that. You look for a gaming mouse. Yeah, I already got it. No, I went with the one somebody recommended here. I went with the glorious mouse. I already got it done. I just bought it on Amazon. Be here Thursday. Not wireless, no. Gaming mouse, you don't want wireless. Logitech G Pro Super Light is the best gaming mouse. You know what, Mo, I agree with you, and for you acknowledging how great that mouse is, and it's being Ramadan, and I'm probably a father figure to you, it would be nice if you would send me one as a special gift for Eid. God bless you, sir. Double D. <laughs> uh, you're broke. <laughs> well, there's one, you can be worse than broke. You can owe money to people everywhere and have a big owing money. If you're only broke, you're good to go. But if you're broke and you owe everybody money, that's some bullshit. But being broke is okay, as long as you don't have a lot of debt. Nothing wrong with being broke. It's when you owe money everywhere that sucks. Yeah, when you owe money to everybody, that really sucks. I want a better computer, but I didn't want to owe or have to pay later. That's why I bought my cheap 2,200 real gaming computer. I wanted the one that cost 10,000 reals, but I just couldn't do it. I don't want to owe money and have to pay later or spend too much. So I bought whatever money was in my pocket and that's what I bought. I always want something better. We all want the better and the best. The control is not doing it. I really want the best computer. I mean, I'm dying for a $3,000 laptop, but I ain't doing that shit. I buy the cheapest one I can find. It turned out to be good. Jareer does have a hell of a deal though right now. If you're here and need a gaming computer and you're in Saudi, Jareer has a hell of a buy. Check this out. Jareer got a damn good buy, man. But I already got this computer. But they've got a buy, man. Where is it at? This is a steal right here, man. I already got the same one. That HP Victus i5, i5 16 gig of RAM 
with a four gigabyte, what is video cards in it? With a GT RTX 3050. That's it. I already have this laptop, but I don't have a 3050. 3,000 reels, it's 33% off. This is a heck of a buy. Three thousand reels is seven hundred dollars. It's a good buy. If you're in Saudi, I, I bought this one, but I bought the cheaper one. I, mine's just cheaper, so that's a good buy. Yeah, it's a real good buy if you're in Jareer, one of those gaming laptop. I have one, but I bought the two thousand two hundred model. The storage is 512. Storage don't matter anymore. 512 is plenty. If you need more, you can always, that's an easy upgrade at any time that you need it. My massively erect hog. I tell you what, with a name like that, I'm sure that your parents and your family is proud of you. And there's nothing to mention that your insecurity about the size of your microscopic pecker has actually ha created you to name it bigger than it is. You know what it means? It's like the man that says, check out my sexy wife, when I wouldn't touch that woman with a bottle of Windex. I like that. Naming yourself something you're not. That's cool. That's a great name. You could probably use that in Sunday school. Get down to the local church. Hello. I'd like to testify today. My name is Massively Erect Hog, and the Lord has blessed me. <laughs> Testimony time. Mr. Hog, come on up. Time for, let's praise the Lord together. <laughs> Uh, damn to hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God bless you, Mr. Hogg. <laughs> I better be quiet. People here are going to get all upset. Ain't nobody here, though. I'm the first one here. A few guys are here. I'll never... Look at a hog the same again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> Life is but a dream. Uh, the time is nine forty. Ain't nobody here. It's it's Ramadan. People come and go. You never see nobody. All right, folks, I guess I'll try to get to work. I'll be on later tonight enjoying some fine. I think tonight I'll be playing some, uh, I'm going to stream DayZ again tonight. I've been kind of falling in love with that game, DayZ. It's pretty fun. I've been enjoying myself. Anyway, if you guys like DayZ, if anybody else has it, let me know. But you've got to be a PC player. It'd be fun to join up with some people and run around the game. I'm not trying to be a pro or win anything. I just like running around in the virtual world and messing around. So if any of you guys have Day Z downloaded on a PC, let me know. Join us. It's kind of fun just to run around, shoot, and holler, and have fun. We do a lot of PUBG, but that's too hard for some people because it's I play at a high level, so I can't really... You have to be a higher level to join me. That's the problem with the PUBG. But on uh, Daisy, I'm not a high-ranked player. I can do anything. I'm not even a, an experienced player. But when we do PUBG, the problem, I'm ranked so high, I can't, hardly anybody can play with us. Daisy is boring. Yeah, if you don't like, it's up to you. Whatever you don't like. Every shoe and every foot are different. You may like something that other people don't like. PUBG PC and PUBG Mobile, I play both. I'm high, high. I do really well on mobile. I do average on PC. So I do both on PUBG, PC or mobile. Hell, I got four years on mobile. I only got a couple of months on PC again. 
I played PC a long time ago, then I stopped, and I just got back into it a couple months ago. Because it's the double double D. <laughs> All right, I just heard somebody coming in. I gotta go. Hey, you guys, have a great day. See you guys in the afternoon. Anybody wants to do some gaming with us? We like to just get in and run around. Okay, gotcha. I play PC and console. I'm ranked platinum one on both. There you go. Come and play, man. My name, Randy W. Horton, is here, there, and I can give you my stream or ID, whatever it's called. Yeah, I like playing it. You know, sometimes we get in and play around just to mess with people. Other times we play to be competitive. So whatever you like to do. You want to play to win or play to knock other people loose. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Have a great day. See you later on the games. Gary, have a good day. Jim and I, everyone, we appreciate you. Link up with me definitely anytime, man. We play all the time. Did you hear that sound? Sound like a jet just landed on my window seal. Bye.